In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to connect timer relay in a circuit. For proper understanding of how the timer works, I'd like to use a diagram to explain. Okay, so we have the base and then we have the timer itself. This at the top here represents the timer itself with the pins. These pins are the round, round boxes here with their numbers inside. And then the one you see at the down here represents the base. The base also, the terminals are numbered, just as I have numbered them here. Okay, so what happens is that in the timer, there is a coil that will activate the timer. And the coil is connected between 2 and 7. On the base, we have 2 here and then 7 here. So you connect your supply between 2 and 7. 5 and 8 is normally closed. And then 6 and 8 is normally open. 6 and 8 is normally open. And then the same thing happens on the other side. Pin 1 and 4 is normally closed. And then when 1 and 4 is normally closed, 1 and 3 is normally open. 1 and 3 is normally open. So 1 and 3 is normally open. 1 and 4 is normally closed. All right. So let's say we set this to operate at 10 seconds. The moment we supply power to the coil, at 10 seconds, 5 and 8 will now open while 6 and 8 will close. And the same thing happens on the left side. When the time set is up, 1 and 3, which is normally open, will now close. And then 1 and 4, which is normally closed, will now open. So that is how the timer works. And so when you look at the base, we have the input side, and then we also have the output side. So what happens is that our supply will be connected between here and here. If we want to get supply at the output here, which is five, just after we switch the supply on, then it means we have to loop the supply from seven to eight. The same thing happens here. If we are able to supply number one here with power, then it means the moment the supply is switched on, we have an output power here at four. But then there will not be any output power at three because at three, it is normally open. And this one will only close when the time that you have set on the timer is due. Okay. Now, and so depending on what you are using the timer for, you can also go ahead to connect power to number one also. So here will be neutral, and then here will be live. Let's say we have a supply here. What happens is that the moment the supply is switched on, just as the supply is switched on, we have an output at five, and then we have an output at four. But then there will not be any output at six and three. The outputs at three and six will come depending on the time that you have set on the timer. So when the time that you have set is up, then now five will be off, six will be on, four will be off, three will be on. Okay. I will have to quickly say that sometimes timers are required to drive heavy loops. And for instance, this timer is only able to carry up to five amps. This timer can carry a maximum of five amps. So what it means is that when you are using this timer to control a heavy load, you can't connect it directly as I am going to do now. So in that case, you will need to add contactors so that the contactors will now carry the heavy current to the machine. But I'll do that in my next video. So please kindly subscribe and keep updated. So the lighting, you can connect it direct to the timer because this is taking less than 0.5 amps. Okay. So first of all, let's start by connecting our light. So I have connected my light to 7, I look to 8, and then I've also decided to look to 1. Okay. Then our light will connect to supply through the breaker.
All right, the next thing I'll do is that I'll connect my neutral. The neutral is going to connect to terminal two and the neutral will connect to the neutral bar. Okay, so now I have my live and neutral supplied to the timer. The next thing I'll do is that I will connect the output to my load. Okay, so the green light will be for the on delay timer, which means that when we switch the supply on, the green light will delay for 10 seconds. I'm going to use 10 seconds for the purpose of this demonstration. So after 10 seconds, this green will come on. This is going to be used for the off delay. So it means that the moment we switch on the breaker, this light will be on for 10 seconds and then go off. So for the on delay, I'm going to use terminal 6 at the output of the timer base. And then that will go to one terminal on my lamp. Okay. For the off delay, I'm going to use terminal 5 to supply the amber lamp. So I connect from terminal 5 to one terminal on the amber lamp. So the next thing I'll do now is I'll have to supply these lamps with neutral. Okay, and I take my neutral. So, uh, I have, all right, so I'm done with the connection. So I bring back the timer. Oh, sorry. Okay, so as I established earlier, this on delay timer, it means that when the supply is switched on, this timer is set to operate at 10 seconds. The timer is set to operate at 10 seconds. Okay, so when 10 seconds is up, then the, uh, the green light will now come on. So it will delay before it comes on. By the amber light, the moment the supply is switched on, the amber light comes. Then it will go off after 10 seconds. So that is off delay. And then this one will wait for 10 seconds before it comes on. And that is on delay. Okay, so let's go. All right, so this is waiting for 10 seconds to go off. And this is waiting for 10 seconds to come on. Okay, so 10 seconds is up, the amber is off, and the green is on. So basically, that is how you connect a timer for on delay and off delay functions. In my next video, I will demonstrate how to connect your load through a contactor instead of directly connecting the load to the timer. Please, if you have not subscribed yet, kindly subscribe and expect more of my videos. Thank you.